Hey friends, welcome back to Hot News. Well, yesterday's existential question, you guys just overwhelmingly decided that the Kool-Aid man was the jar and not the liquid, to which I would ask if he's filled with a different liquid that's not Kool-Aid, is he still the Kool-Aid man? But that's not today's existential question. That's just a follow-up from yesterday. Today's existential question is, if a gingerbread man lives in a gingerbread house, is the gingerbread man made out of house or is his house made out of flesh? You're a monster. Let me know. We'll leave a poll right up there. What do you think? <laughs> We need the answer to these questions. And you also need to buy our merch because that's today's video sponsor, our fresh new merch. Our editor who's working on this video, Jason, made amazing new designs. I love it. This is a colorful CPU. We've got some hard drives. You guys really seem to love the gamer divided controller that he made as well. So go ahead and check them out at the link in the video description. Pick up some dope merch. It's amazing. We love it. I find it very sensual. Anyways, what's not sensual is the fact that there are increasing number of reports coming out from different computer manufacturers in Taiwan, in China, who are saying that the impact of the virus is going to be extreme. It's disrupting a lot of services and it's continually building up to the point where one company goes out and hinders another company from producing their stuff, even if they're not impacted by the virus and then they're not able to make more. So there are several reports coming out saying Taiwanese PCB manufacturers in China are not able to actually make enough PCBs so that companies can use Use them for making computer parts. This is a huge like bottom line foundational thing that you need for RAM, motherboards, all of this kind of stuff. There are some companies that do vertically integrated PCBs, but then there's others that source it out. And with companies having to be shut down due to the virus concerns, they're not going to be able to produce enough PCBs for other companies to actually manufacture computer parts, your phone parts. It's like it's going to go all down the line where it's basically going to be a huge domino effect to where like things are just not available let alone at a stupid price. Which, in case you want to know about stupid pricing and supply shortages, I want you to go and try to find an N95 respirator mask anywhere. Just find one, okay? They're usually what, like 50 cents to $1.50 at, at a Home Depot or a Lowe's, usually? Go and find one, okay? Try, try to find one in the US, see if you can find it. Nope, they're back ordered for eight weeks and I can barely find them for under $40 on eBay. A small price to pay for selling. But despite all of this, despite Taiwanese PCB makers not being able to make PCBs and a bunch of other companies just pulling out of different events, GDC having a rocky start even though they're deciding to go on, Computex is just kind of just saying no. We're having Computex, we don't care because Titra came out again on February 25th saying that still going on. There might be health concerns, but no, we're gonna try to mitigate it. Taiwan's been extremely effective in protecting the public through stringent measures that have been implemented. So if you wanna go to Computex, bam, you're still going. But then on top of that, there are more reports coming out from South Korea about virus spreading and companies having to shut down. We reported in previous hot news about how Samsung had to shut down one of their phone fabrication facilities in South Korea because one of their employees had a specific virus. Well, now it looks like SK Hynix has quarantined hundreds of employees and other different fabrication facilities in South Korea are having to quarantine their employees and shut down the fabrication facilities. And that primarily affects NAND and DRAM, which is our SSD and RAM prices. So that that's going to increase that back up to probably like 2017 levels. This is, it's a lot of uh, things trickling down the stream that are causing major buildups of lack of supply, increased prices. And I would highly suggest that if you are interested in purchasing some sort of computer part, especially with no PC part really slated to launch in the next couple of months, there's only rumors of announcements. I would highly recommend you consider picking stuff up right now. And to completely negate what I just said about parts not potentially being launched, there is the Ryzen 9 4900HS that's supposed to come out to laptops. There's been a leaked information about Asus putting them into a, an ROG laptop. We've already reported how this 4900HS was in a product spec sheet when AMD announced their new Ryzen 4000 mobile CPUs, but they never actually officially announced it, so it was kind of delayed. But now there's actually a more information coming out about the Ryzen 9 mobile laptop stuff. So in case you're interested in that, maybe hold off on that. But then there are additional reports, which I don't have in our list right now about the fact that AMD might have to delay their laptop productions because laptop manufacturers are not being able to source enough parts to actually get the rest of the computer put together and therefore they're going to have to be down by several percentage points on how many laptops they can produce. So Asus, even though they have the spec laid out for the 4900HS, they not, might not be able to get enough RAM, SSD, PCBs made in order to produce these laptops at all. So AMD's surgeons 
resurgence, first surgeons into the laptop market might not even come as soon as they were expecting because of virus shutting down things. Then let's talk about another CPU manufacturer in China, which is the Shaoshin GPUs. Well, I'd messed that up, I'm so sorry. Anyways, we talked in previous hot news about the fact that these were coming out into commercially available PCs. Well, now it's available. Commercially available Shaoshin CPUs. The big deal behind this is that it's x86, which via Intel and AMD are the only ones who have the licenses for that. It appears that AMD has made some sort of sub-licensing agreement in order to make this somehow, now it exists. Now, speaking of CPUs in different realms, it seems, at least according to rumors that are out there, that Apple will introduce its first ARM-based MacBook in late 2021. So we're looking at the second half of 2021 where Apple is going to get away from Intel, say, bye, see you later, we want nothing more to do with you and have ARM-based MacBooks, which would help to vertically integrate the OS system with the iPhone, with the iPad, and the MacBook, and everything could be more tightly controlled and everything fused together and build up that walled garden ecosystem that Apple has. If you control every part of it, then nobody can get in or out, okay? You wanna get out of the walled garden, you're gonna have to eat an apple a day and then chuck it at Tim Cook's head until he lets you go. But switching gears over to YouTube, it appears that they somehow want to help stem the flow of bad information going out to creators who only happen to discover that there are rules in place that we didn't know about until we get hit by them, such as the fact that I'm not allowed to say the name of the virus without getting demonetized. Can't put it in the description, can't put it in the title, can't even say its name because YouTube auto generates closed captioning. And if they find it in the closed captioning, then I also get demonetized anyways. They hired a liaison to help mediate the difference between YouTube and its creators. So this is Matt Koval. He's the head creator liaison at YouTube now. Hopefully there might be some more communication or it's just enough to deflect the flack from YouTube and make everybody pissed off at Matt because he's not communicating properly because he's not getting enough information from upstream, but he's the face of everything. It's, it's a good way to save your bacon. Dang it, Matt! Why? We gotta get demonetized for saying but nobody's saying dang it to the Smithsonian who has made available 2.8 million images of different parts of their museums to the public now. So in case you wanted to view Smithsonian stuff without actually having to go to the Smithsonian, it's now available online. And then Microsoft has confirmed a brand new feature in the Xbox Series X, which is that games will resume even after a reboot. So you don't necessarily have to get to a save point. You can shut down your system, move on your merry way and come back to it, which some people, at least from South Africa, were celebrating the fact that this might help for load shedding, but it appears that it has to be like scheduled from within the operating system. It can't be an external one because then that would mean they'd have to be caching everything that's stored on RAM to the SSD at the same time, which would slow down performance. Maybe they have a part of the SSD that's reserved for that so that it's constantly happening in the background. It could be that, but they haven't explicitly said it's for interrupted power. It could just be for uh, scheduled reboots that you do with your Xbox. And plus, speaking of the Xbox, in case you want to win our powerful PC that looks like an Xbox Series X, this is the NZXT H1. We're going to be giving this away March 4th at the University of Florida, Turlington Plaza, 1235 p.m. If you bring your console to trade in for this, you stand a chance to win this. We're going to have a competition for everybody who brings their console to try to trade it in for this beastly PC. It has some of the best specs that you can get right now. It's amazing. Anyways, we're going to be giving that away March 4th next week, so we'll see you there. But we'll also see Platinum Games coming out with the brand new IP known as Project GG, which seems like it's a mixture of Ant-Man turning into Ultraman versus Godzilla. I, I don't know more than that. I just watched the teaser trailer, but that has enough to get my Jimmy juices flowing. I'll tell you what. Well, you're going to be able to contain your Jimmy juices with this new partnership announced by Logitech and Herman Miller. What? Herman Miller and Logitech are partnering up to create a gaming chair. It is amazing because Herman Miller is known for being some of the best like office chairs on the market. They're super wicked expensive, starting usually around the thousands of dollars. So partnering with Logitech will likely mean that these gaming chairs are pricey, but it also means that they're probably gonna be some of the most ergonomic gaming chairs out on the market, probably the best chairs out on the market that you can get in the gaming sector, which the gaming chairs are actually just racing chairs. I'm not sure how racing chairs turn into gaming chairs, but that's an etymology that I'm not gonna get into right now. But I also didn't get into the fact that Google Earth 
stopped being an app and was only available on Google Chrome in no other browser. Did you know this, Reese? I did not. OK, well, it was apparently only available on Google Chrome. And now it has finally been rolled out to Firefox Edge in Opera browsers thanks to WebAssembly. But before it wasn't, and Google said that it's still being worked on, so it's not a perfectly smooth experience. So still view it on Google Chrome, which of course they would say that. But there you go. And Google has also added new languages to Google Translate for the first time in four years. They've added five new languages. You can check the list in the link in the video description. I'm not familiar with any of them. We don't need all of these languages, people. That's because I'm a pleb who only speaks English and un poquito espanol. I speak American. Speaking of me being a pleb English speaker has nothing to do with this next article because the facial recognition company Clearview AI has said that its entire client list was stolen. Their, their data was just hacked. It's all gone. It's all been thieved. And the full client list of Clearview has been taken by nefarious sources with the majority of their clientele actually being different police departments. You figure a facial recognition company would have more security. But at the same time, we could say that. But the truth is, everybody's going to get hacked at some point. It's just the inevitability of the internet. Everything's publicly accessible. Something that's not locked down that should be locked down somewhere in the pipeline creates this open hole of people that are able to grab your data and then punch you in the face with it. Some would say that Clearview's client list is in clear view. <laughs> Reese, what's the mitochondria? It's the power half of the cell. Well, it's not according to this brand new multicellular animal that was discovered because it doesn't have a mitochondria. It doesn't use oxygen to respirate, which is a first because we were all taught the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. But this multicellular organism does not have a mitochondria. And the reason this is a big deal is that even though there have been single cellular organisms that do not have a mitochondria, they developed energy in a different way. This is the first eukaryote that doesn't have it. Mind blown explosions of what is this creature. And with that, I'm going to powerhouse on out of this episode of Hot News. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out our merch in the link in the video description and answer the poll right up there. Is the gingerbread man made out of house or is the gingerbread house made out of flesh? We need to know the answers to this and also debate the uh, existential nature of the fact that the Kool-Aid man, if he's filled with a different juice than Kool-Aid, is he still the Kool-Aid man? Tell me or I'll... You tell me. See you, friends, in the next episode. Bye. Reese, what is the mitochondria? The, that's your face. No, it's the powerhouse of the cell. It's your face. <laughs>